Yo, 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 this is uh, Chris Play. How you doing? Doing a rare live stream using my phone instead of my iPad. Don't have my iPad with me right now. That's why, and I just suddenly decided, you know what, let's do a live stream. So I'm sitting here waiting for someone, they're not coming. In fact, they're going to be 30 to 40 minutes late. So I figured, what? Might as well get on um, Facebook, add some value to the community, and answer any questions you guys have. And also address a certain issue that, you know, I, a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, are, are saying that, you know, Facebook ads are not working. I've seen this, I went into a, a couple of groups today and I saw people commenting Facebook ads are not, not working, all oh, my results are not working. And I, I'm not surprised by these comments, to tell you the truth, because people say that stuff all the time. I mean, whether, whether, actually, the only time that people don't say that is right before Christmas, like around November, right? But any other time of year, you can, you will, you, if you go into Shopify groups, you will see someone saying that Facebook ads are not working. And that is just not true. I mean, okay. So let me give you a story here. Recently, I had someone sign up for my coaching program. And within, within a few weeks, well, a little over a month actually took, we, this person got from losing money. So now they got one campaign. They've done 2,000 sales on that one campaign. In the past few weeks, um, we're still scaling it even more. Um, Five thousand eight hundred ad spend, and over tw almost twenty one thousand dollars in revenue. Guys, that's a, that's a that's a R of over like three point five. I mean that the ROAS of three point five. Sorry, a ROAS of three point five. Okay, and the, and as uh, numerous other examples, I can point to. I can point to. I can point to. So, it is absolutely not true that Facebook ads are not working. Okay. What is going on in the marketplace is, is what always goes on, right? Competition, right? People see what you're offering. They, 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 you know, they make up something similar, slightly different, right? And, and you start competing for that traffic and, and on that product that you're selling, right? And, it's, and you, you keep pushing the same ad adverts and you keep pushing the same ads. And one thing I think people are, I see people doing all the time is they're not adding enough new ads. They're not adding enough ads. They say, they, okay, I got a bunch of ads working. So they don't add any new ads. You got, you got to be constantly feeding your campaigns with new ad sets. Okay, it's really, really important. The reason being is, is because every given ad set has a, has a life cycle. And when you see an uh, ad set go bad for two days in a row, you should kill it. Even if that ad set was profitable, okay? Even if it's still profitable. If you have two days in a row where an ad set starts, goes bad, goes negative, Kill it. That ad set's on its way down, okay? That's just the way it is. If you have one day, let's say you have a winning ad set and, it's, it's, and then suddenly one day it goes bad. Don't panic, okay? That's actually a really bad thing. A lot of people can't panic and kill it. That's actually a really bad thing. If I have an ad set that's working and then suddenly it has one bad day, I don't sweat it. That's just, that, that, that will happen. That's just part of the game. But if I have two bad days in a row, then I kill that ad set because it's trending down. So why are people saying their ads are not performing well? Why are they saying, oh, my ads are only not performing? Well, there's a couple reasons. Number one, they're not feeding the fire. I see this all the time with newbies. They get a bunch, get, get, they get a bunch of ad sets going, they get things working, and then they, then they go to the, and they just let it, let it run without adding new stuff. When I have a winning campaign, I add new ad sets to it almost daily, okay? A few ad sets almost daily, okay? That's, that's what I think I do. If I do a, an aggressive increase, like, so let's just say I do like 30 or 40 ad sets, right? Which I sometimes do, um, or even more. I will wait a couple of days in between before adding new ones because I want, I want the, the, the dust settle. But the point is, at least at the very, very minimum, okay? at least every three days, but usually every two days, I'm adding new ad sets to the winning campaign because Facebook favors new content. That's the way it is. Okay? That's, that's, that's one way to keep your ads, your, your selling products going. Another way is you've got to be constantly testing out new creatives. What happens is, is um, people get banner blind, blindness to seeing the exact same image over and over again. And you may be targeting many different audiences in your, within, your, within your niche, but within those audiences, right, there's, there's a lot of overlap. 
Okay, so a lot of the same people might be seeing the exact same product, same image that you're on. So you gotta feed out new images out there. That's nothing. Another thing you can do is, 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 is this is a very, very common thing that happens um, with Facebook ads, advertising, okay? I, I, I have a, uh, I don't know, I call it post fatigue, okay? I just made that up off the top of my head. I talked about this concept many times. I finally have a name for it, post fatigue. And so what happens is a post will, you be advertising this post for months, okay? Two, three months, sometimes four, whatever. It depends on how much traffic you're running and, and there's all, I, I can't put a exact number on it, quantify a number on it because I've seen it happen in a month. I've seen it take several months. So, and sometimes a lot in between. But at some point, what's gonna, a bizarre thing is gonna happen. The post you have that's winning is going to just tank. It's going to go like, this one's going good. It's going good. Okay, now it's steady. And then, boom! It's like, what the fuck just happened? I mean, seriously, that's what you're going to be thinking to yourself. You're going to be like, what the, what the F just happened? Well, what's happening there is Facebook says, Facebook's telling you enough's enough on that post. Facebook favors new content. They, they, they say this a lot in their blog, okay? And they favor new content, okay? So... What happens is us marketers, you say to yourself, especially with some of the ads, I mean, I've had ads, I've had adverts with over 100,000 shares, okay? Oh, I got all that social proof on that ad set, on that post. I got all those comments, right? I mean, I had, really, I'm not joking you, but I mean, it's, it's been a while since I've had one like this. I had a, one advert that had 100,000 shares and thousands of comments. I don't even know how many, or maybe, I, I can't even remember, but I remember the shares. It was a ridiculous amount of comments. Well, most marketers, and that thing just fell off a cliff. One day, that thing just died. I mean, it was dead. I mean, I literally went from making like, I remember this, like 80, it was a hat, by the way, 80 hat sales one day, the next day, like like three. And it's like, what the heck just happened? And of course, I lost money that day. I mean, it has been a very, very profitable product, so I mean, it didn't, so overall it was profitable, but that, that particular day I lost money and thank God I had rules set up in my ads because it, it just you know it, it killed I, I have a rule set up you know saying hey if you, you know if, if this was spending a day without a you know without a sale at all kill it right I mean I don't remember the rule exactly what I had but I had some sort of rule set up that would kill that, that saved me some money but I still lost right I lost several hundred dollars that day okay because I had a, I had a lot of advertising going and by the way don't and any, any guru or trainer who says they never have a bad day, they're, they are full of shit. I'm just going to tell you straight out, okay? Because I, I go to events, right? And, I talk, and I'm involved in some, some, some pretty big high-level stuff. I mean, we're talking like stuff that costs $10,000 a year to join, okay? And, and, and some of, there's other trainers and gurus out there. And, and, and in, those, in those groups, we talk about stuff that, you know, more openly, right? And they, they tell me about their bad days. Okay, I, I don't know why so many gurus and trainers always want to look like that they're always rocking on fire, and that is just not possible. Okay, I like any other business. I have my good days and I have my bad days, and I have my good days and I have my bad days, and I have this time I'm just steady like this. But here's the difference, guys: is I've been in this game since 2012, and I know when things are going bad, the action steps to take to change it. It's one thing that I teach in my course, and that's on how to get yourself out of that rut. So, and I'm, so today I didn't really have it. This was like one of the most sudden videos I've ever done. Literally, I got a, I got a, uh, in Japan we use a thing called Line. It's like a WeChat thing, but in Japan it's Line. Line actually came out. I don't know why. I, actually, I'm not sure. I think WeChat came out. I'm not sure. Was, WeChat or Line came out first. But anyway, almost at the same time they came out, and Line. Was by a Japanese company, and they really aggressively marketed it in Japan. And, and Line dominates this country. I mean, I know that everywhere else in the world it's WeChat, but in 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 Japan, I mean, I don't know a single person who doesn't have Line. I mean, literally, the entire country. I mean, who's got a who's got a smartphone? And I think it's got to be close. Well, not everyone has a smartphone, I'm sure, but it's got to be close to a hundred million people in this country have Line. So anyway. So I got a line message from my buddy. It's great. You can do free calling and everything. It's awesome. Um, saying that, dude, I'm sorry, man. I'm 40 minutes late. 
So I was like, okay. So then literally I opened up the phone. I said, you know what? I'm sitting here doing nothing. So why don't I uh, just do a live stream? All right. So this, I want to, one point I want to make on this video, right? The sub video is that guys, is this not true that Facebook ads are not working? That is just not true. Don't believe that hype. Okay. Oh yeah. I no, was sorry. I was talking about, by the way, I'm not drunk guys. This is literally my first beer. Okay. It's just that normally I have, I have a topic in mind that I want to talk about. So I'm very focused on top of the thing. I'm just sort of rambling, talking about different stuff with the Facebook ads. So, okay. So my, that one that had a hundred thousand shares and ever it tanked. And because I'd seen this before, I'd seen that before. The ve that very next day, I turned off that campaign. I posted the exact same image, the exact same text. So ad copy, right? I set up a new campaign and I targeted all the targets that were working before. And you know what happened? I remember this because, because as I remember, I lost like $300 that, that day. It was one of the worst. I mean, I've had losses, but that was like the, the, the epitome of the, the, I haven't had a loss like day, a loss day like that in, in, I, before that for like, for like well over a year before that. And, and since then, not that, I mean, I've had, you know, I'm talking about, I'm talking about losses, I'm talking maybe the 50, 60, hundred dollars, right? Right. Because you just have these up and down. But I mean, I literally lost $300 on that day. I was like, ugh. Because it was a winning product. But I remember this. We next day, the exact, everything set up. I set up tons of campaigns. We literally made a, uh, $850 the next day, profit. Okay, and then if you count the loss, overall we're still at 550. And then I started scaling from there and we we're back up to over $1,000 profit on that, pro that particular product soon. So the point is this I knew what to do. I knew that it's a huge mistake to be attached emotionally attached to your social proof. That's what I call it, emotionally attached, emotionally dependent on your social proof. It's like being in a bad marriage where you're, you're busy together, dying together, not living together, okay? So if you have a winning product, a winning ad image, winning ad copy, and winning interest, you know how fast you can get social proof back up on a new post? a day or two and how much social proof do you truly need to build momentum I would say a thousand shares and if you got a good product and a good image that you're using and the right targets you can get that social proof back in a heartbeat okay so don't be emotionally attached to your images I mean to your sorry to your posts it's a real big mistake at some point Every single post you advertise a lot is going to tank. It's going to fall off a cliff. And people say, well, how will I know? Trust me, you will know. Because literally, it'll be like here and then <laughs> what just happened? And this happens all the time. I mean, this is, I, I, I expect, when I have a post I'm running a lot of traffic to, because I've been doing this since 2012, I expect that it, w one day I'm going to wake up, because I, I guess, you know, I run U.S. is my main market, Canada and Australia. I, I, I'm sleeping during the day time, the midday during America, from like, a, like say, you know, well, it depends on the time zone, but this is the midday I'm sleeping, right? I, I don't sleep a lot. I, got, I get four or five hours of sleep. I'm five, sometimes six, sometimes seven, but anyway. So I, know, I expect, when I'm running a lot of traffic to one post for a while, I expect that one day I'm going to wake up and that post is doing horribly. I know that's going to happen because it does every time. It's a trend, which is why I always also test out new ad images out there and, t and test out if we can come up with a new one, right? But when, I, when it dies, I just take the exact same thing and I post it again. And it, sure enough, on one particular product, I think I posted the exact same image like nine times. And it worked every time. All right, guys, I'm, I'm going to answer any questions you guys might have. And by the way, you guys may or may not see for, and there's like a day, like an hour, no, a day and like four or five hours left. I'll put the link here in the thread below. 
You can join my course and mastermind group for one week for one dollar. That's right, one dollar. I decided, you know what, I, I had so many people ask me, why don't you have a free trial? Why don't you have a free trial? Why don't you have a free trial? And by the way, we, we really did make it a free trial, but we had all sorts of errors with our, we were using Pay Kickstarter and PayPal and, and Product Dino, and there was, a, there was a bug that we discovered. And so it's, it was a very frustrating thing. We, had, we, we, we cannot run a 100% free trial. It's just not going to work. And then we have to change our whole system. So the best I can do is a $1 trial. But anyway, the, the point is this. Um, I had so many people say, man, I hear about your, your successes, students, I, I see it, but I don't know, just something about these information courses and mastermind, I, they're just afraid. They are just afraid. So I decided for a short period of time, I would just run this free trial thing, see what happens, see if people, you know, see if people join and they stick and they stay with the program or not. Um, because I know what we have. I have absolutely no doubt that my Econ Vantage course in Mastermind is the best training mastermind course group in the marketplace, period. I have, I have absolutely no fucking doubt. And the reason being is, is, is I can point to something, a stat, that, that, that's mind-boggling. Okay? Even to me, it's mind-boggling. And they just reaffirmed it to me the other day. Um, Michael from Custom Cat posted in Custom Cat group about the free trial. This is why he did that. Well, now it's changed to a one-hour trial. The reason why I did that is Custom Cat, the number one biggest supplier for POD. They have the most members, and it's not even close. More than any other POD supplier out there. People use Custom Cat. They got almost 15,000 registered members. And they get referrals from many different trainers and coaches out there, gurus out there. Currently, and still currently, half, let me repeat that, half of their top 20 of all those sellers are from my course and mastermind. So it's so good, I can actually look you in the face on this video and say, look, if you don't get in for this $1 trial, you're out of your mind. Get in there, check it out and see for yourself. And if you don't, if you're not satisfied, no problem. Just message me and we will, we will refund, no, sorry, we're not gonna refund the $1, but we will cancel your your, your subscription, right? You won't be billed $100 a month staying after, seven days. So you, you're gonna get, by the way, this is not limited access, right? I thought about the drip feed thing, but you know what, I said, you know what, I'm just, I wanna, I want this opportunity, and I'm taking this opportunity to prove to everyone how incredible this thing is. So get in there and come in with high expectations, because you be, you're gonna get them met. All right, so I'll put the link for the trial in the below, and uh, yeah. All right, see you in the next video. Cheers.